Asus sent over their PG258Q. This is a yet to be released 240Hz 1080p gaming monitor. We're going to take a look at it, so let's do that. So as you can see, this monitor is actually pretty stylish. You've got a few sort of copper accents, especially on the base and on the back. And while we're taking a look at the back, you can see the rather stylish design. As I said, that uh, sort of copper looking ring around the attachment point, which I believe you can remove and use a vase mount if you prefer. Although I do quite like this stand. You have a lot of adjustability, and while they haven't released the exact figures, it looks like somewhere around about 120 mm of height adjust, around about 20 to minus 5 degrees of tilt, around about 60 to 65 degrees of swivel either way, and you can still turn it 90 degrees to be in portrait mode. Taking a look at the stand, you do have a few copper accents on this new relatively stylish design, a sort of tripod looking thing, and one of the things I want to mention is you do actually have an underglow LED on here. It's actually pretty cool, it's called light in motion in the settings, although there is no motion to the lights, so I don't quite know where they get the name from, but you can remove the plate and replace the RG logo with one of these either clear plates if you just want red LEDs shining down onto your table. You can turn it off in the settings or you can put custom etchings or custom sort of stickers on this to make it uh, display whatever you fancy. So that's quite a nice thing. It is actually a pretty stylish effect, especially when you have your lights off in your room. It's a very cool thing to look at. The menu buttons, as with all RG monitors, are actually really awesome. You've got a hat switch for easy maneuverability inside the menus, which I'll show you in just a second. You have a couple of extra switches as well, including the power button and the game mode and sort of scenery mode uh, buttons as well, so that is quite cool. Now the menu system is actually fairly well developed, it's fairly easy to navigate. The settings are generally where you'd expect them and you can change quite a few things including uh, ultra low motion blur settings depending on which mode you're in. You can also use the scenery mode to change which type of profile you're in, whether that's RTS or FPS or anything in between. And you also have the game mode buttons as well for the crosshair for timers and display alignment and that sort of stuff. Because this is a G-Sync monitor, the display inputs that you get here are fairly limited. You're looking at HDMI in and DisplayPort in, and that's pretty much it. And the DisplayPort connection is the one that you're going to want to use here. You do also have a USB 3 hub on the bottom and some audio in and out pass-throughs if you're interested and you want to connect your speakers through your monitor or something like that. So that is quite a nice option if you are you know, planning on getting one of these. But I do want to make it clear that ASUS is purely marketing this for the sort of professional gamer, especially the sort of people who play CSGO and Overwatch professionally. This is who are, that's who are aimed for this monitor. This isn't really a monitor that they're recommending for anyone else than that. So if you're an aspiring pro gamer then this might be one for you but if you're not this really isn't something they are trying to sell you. So let's talk about gaming. Now because this is a TN panel the viewing angles aren't fantastic and this certainly isn't meant for color reproductive work but of course this is a gaming monitor it's 240 hertz it's not meant for any of that. It's meant for gaming especially in the FPS genre where refresh rate is really quite key especially when it comes to you know your flick shots and that sort of thing. So I want to make it clear I'm not a professional gamer I am not even actually that skilled at gaming for most parts so this is a kind of a layman's review of a professional tool as such so it's a little bit difficult. Now I want to make it clear I also am using this Asus Strix GTX 1080 to test with the monitor also a Ryzen 7 1700 and when playing on Doom because that's the game that I'm kind of best at, sort of, uh, at least in the FPS genre, then uh, I was running around about 180 FPS average with maximums of I think 354 and minimums of uh, 120. So definitely in the sweet spot for G-Sync working and for this 240Hz monitor. So that is quite cool. So the big question you're probably all waiting for me to answer is does 240Hz even matter? Now I tested their pg 24 8 q which is a 180Hz monitor and for me that one really, really wasn't a massive difference between a 144 hertz monitor uh, versus that one and for me even though this is a 240 hertz monitor almost double a 140 hertz monitor I can't easily see a perceptible difference between the two when just looking at them you know if they're playing uh, you know a game at 240 hertz and 144 hertz respectively I can't really just look and see which one is which but when gaming on them this was significantly better in terms of my accuracy, in terms of how quickly I completed the level. Everything about playing on this monitor was just a little bit better. It's not easily perceptible, but if you're a pro gamer, I really genuinely think that this is better for you. And I think, uh, I believe Linus Tech Tips also agreed with that as well. So it's a very strange thing that I, I can't quite tell you exactly why it is better, but for me, it just was. So 
I guess that's probably not a very easily digestible suggestion, but if you're a pro gamer and you need, especially if you're a pro gamer in the FPS category, CSGO, Overwatch, all that sort of stuff, this is the sort of monitor I really do recommend. When it comes to scoring, and especially in the value for money category, unless you're the really small subset of people that this is aiming for and this applies to, this really isn't that great value for money for you. I think it's meant to be fairly expensive as well, so I'm going to go for a 3.5 for value for money here. But in terms of performance, even though I can't tell you in a quantitative manner, it really is, at least in the qualitative way anyway, a fantastic experience and even a layman like me saw a genuine benefit in the higher refresh rates and just the overall monitor in general. So I think it has to be a 5 there. In terms of functionality, because it's TN, because you have limited inputs because of G-Sync, I'm going to go with a 4 here, although do bear in mind that that doesn't matter to anyone who is actually buying this monitor for pro gaming use. And of course, in terms of style, it has to be a 5. In terms of Tetsu Movie Score, I'm going to go with, I think, a 4 with the overall uh, award going to be the Pro Gamer Award. It really is fantastic, and if you are in the FPS gaming genre, this really is a fantastic tool to help you do your job better, so I do highly recommend it. Now, I want to make it clear that this monitor isn't currently available at this point in time, so if uh, it does become available, I'll leave some links in the description down below for you. But otherwise, if you want to pick up anything else, or if you're watching this video and the monitor is available, and I I haven't put links in the description, please do use the Overclockers UK and Amazon affiliate links in the description down below when you're buying anything on either of those places. It does genuinely help me out, it supports these videos, it keeps the channel running and it really is a very big part of how I live. So if you could use those I would be very very grateful when you're buying anything on those places. Otherwise feel free to check out Tech Team GB merchandise, it's not necessarily Tech Team GB branded in some cases, although there are a few options there. There's a couple of funny t-shirts I made just as a sort of PC gamer inside jokes. So if you want to check those out, I'll leave a couple links in the description down below for you there too. And of course, feel free to check me out on Facebook and Twitter as well. It's at TechTeamGB on both of them. And otherwise, that's pretty much it. I'll leave some other videos over here for you to check out, whether that be some monitors or just the most recent upload. Feel free to check those videos out too. And of course, the subscribe button over this side if you haven't already. Let me know what you think of this monitor in the comments down below. Is this something that you think pro gamers would actually benefit from? Or is this something that's more marketing spiel than anything else? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below and otherwise that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you all in the next video.